Hello, my name is Sagittarius. Welcome, welcome to this reading. My name is Mia, and we're going to have a look what kind of energies are surrounding you this month, March 2023, regarding money, manifestation, business, finances, and all the good and beautiful things that we want and need in our lives. Sag, how are you doing? I really hope you're doing great. Just keep in mind, this is not one-on-one -on -one reading, so take the messages that do resonate and drop the rest. Please welcome my channel. And if you like, subscribe as well. Don't be a stranger. I do daily shorts, weekly readings and monthly readings like this one, for example. So, worry, welcome, welcome, welcome. Anyways, without further ado, let's dive in what we have for you, Sagittarius, this month. Beginning of the month here, middle here, and we have at the very end of the month. Where's this? It's going to be a good one. I know, in my bones. Now, hey, we have the full and nine of swords. Right. The wait is over. I'll, I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that the wait is over. Something, whatever has been sitting on your mind, something that you have been probably waking up three o'clock because that's what we call a 3 a.m. card. Something has been really troubling you and it has been some troublesome time. However, look how, if you've probably heard me before, you probably know how I'm chuffed or I really dig the way the cards talk to one another. It's like two different people, like having a conversation, okay? Look, the fool is looking at this person here. Poor you. Listen up. Lighten up and come with me. That's what he's saying to him or her. Okay? You need to leave this baggage behind, leave the thoughts behind and come with me. Now, in full in business or money reading, it's an interesting one. You have some sort of idea that you want to pursue. There is some sort of either this is your hobby or this is kind of sort of your talent actually as well. And it kind of feels maybe you've been struggling to figure out how to do the things or you might be really overweighed by your responsibilities. Hands up. Everyone's been there, been there, done there, got the t-shirt, right? And suddenly this kind of energy is coming in saying, look, you have something really special here. You have really good talent. There is something good within each one of us. Just work on it. However, what Fool is saying in a business is if there's something that you are seeing yourself to make money or even partially some sort of contribute to your weekly or monthly income, you need to treat this as a business. Okay. Either this is making cakes or weekends or is this, um, I don't know, cleaning people's homes or uh, maybe that's not your kind of hobby, but let's say... Uh, some sort of hobby or certain things doing nails like myself right <laughs> um, you know and start small you don't have to contribute uh, to or kind of really com com commit to some sort of taking a big on lease on big shop or something okay but you really need to take it seriously take small steps take that risk take that calculated risk and it is going to pay off because there is something with you that is really bursting to come out. And it's, it feels like if you apply yourself, you're going to make this work. You are going to make this work. Right. Let's pump them here. It's a good start. It's a good start indeed. Now, we are in Pisces season. Yes, indeed. It's a last zodiac sign. Mm -hmm. We know that. And it is bringing uh, kind of closures and new starts as well. Okay. Some new big cycle starts. Look, cycles happen all the time. The same in the seasons, all the springs and, and summer and so on. So I went out for morning this walk and I saw beautiful little leaves are kind of bursting out from the tree branches. Beautiful to see. You know, the branches were completely naked. You could say that, right? And now there is a life coming out, you know? It's something that reminds me of Death Card, like the transformation happening. And it's br brilliant. That kind of change of energy is that something that brings the world around. Now... We have Mercury in Pisces in a second. Oh my goodness. The Mercury in Pisces from the 2nd of March. And it really sets the tone for the whole March, for the whole month, I have to say. Because this is something, so energy of free, free mind. No boundaries. Not boundaries in the kind of ways, but no limits. Not limiting yourself. Looking for solutions. And look what you're having here. Looking for solutions rather than problems. Looking what you can do rather than what you can't do. Not allowing that no's and can'ts. Not allowing them to control your life. Big time. Now, look how you're starting the new, new month here. 
Beginning of the month, we have four ones, a magician. Fabulous. I love the four ones. Reason why is, is the four the end of their journey? No, it's not. But I think we should celebrate small steps, the small victories that we have day in, day out. If we are just waiting for the big happiness to come, we'll be waiting until the cows come home. If we're waiting for that big buck to come in and not realizing, thank you universe for be here, be there, we might not, we might miss a lot of opportunities. It's sometimes there's a lucky break and it's what you do with that lucky break. It's important. Seeing the positive things um, as Mercury is in Pisces saying, see the positive more than looking for the negative is really getting you further and further. And we have the full moon in Virgo on 7th of March as well, which is really kind of taking take measured uh, decisions, but don't be critical because magician is saying is up to you. Magician is saying you have that. Here's, and it's, we have a beautiful kind of pr progression. I like to see that because we have the full, which is the zero and one is magician. You're moving away from the start and there's a good opportunities happening for you Sagittarius at the beginning, right? And magician is saying, uh, if you don't make decision, I will try to nudge you. I will make you to kind of kick up a, a butt a bit, you know, kick up the butt. And so you are starting to do something. It's free will, of course. You are. You can say no, but then don't expect ch changes. You got to participate. However, if this is the case, some of you people, you are taking on new people or planning to partner up. Magician is one of the cards that is really saying, be mindful and do research on those people okay and not just on those people but maybe in the area where you're taking the business because magician can ma make things appear and disappear it could be quite tricky regarding people you are maybe taking on in this period of time so do call their references and do your due diligence and see what's going on as well however four ones look they are really literally running through that uh, finishing kind of line and celebrating some sort of success feeling yes it's brilliant it's kind of like you have wakened it is beautiful, Sag. Beautiful month. Indeed. And that's why I said I had a feeling that this month is going to be a heck of a month. <laughs> yeah. Let's have a look. And plus we have Saturn in, in, um, in Pisces as well. And it's going to stay there till for another three years. And it's really kind of asking what kind of things you would like to leave behind. And what kind of lessons you have learned. What is that you can take from this point forward okay is this fear is this procrastination that you could kind of say okay yeah i maybe have some issues that are or habits of thinking or belief system that i would happy to leave behind so i can move forward freely look how full is traveling light very little sachet and that's it here we are chariot cancers here for you right movement and movement is happening is i have to say pretty quick and because chariot is someone who is very determined to succeed and it has this feeling that there will be someone alongside of you that will help you to succeed either with advice or with money or time or even uh, giving some sort of furniture giving products or giving some sort of thing that really supports you so do not forget those people please do not forget those people do not let the pride and do not let that ego of starting having that success to um uh, really um, destroy that good relationships because you can always burn bridges but don't burn bridges right now because you never know you might need those people in the future as well but this is really setting yourself for okay I know I'm going to have some uh, journey ahead of me I'm prepared for that okay middle of the month wowzers okay king of pentacles I said that there's going to be around you there and five of swords all right so what are we having in the middle? We have the Mercury in Aries. And Mercury is someone who is a thinking. Okay, Mercury is a thinker, the way we speak, the way they communicate, and so on and so on. Aries is a doer. And I can see sometimes you might get very really short-tempered and you just want to just get there uh, no matter what. Okay, mm, that's probably one of the things to leave behind, right? That could be leave behind. But um, there is a new moon in Aries, it's all happening. Right. And it's a new cycle starting. Maybe there's a lesson that we can learn along as well. And it feels like you're very eager. I will clarify, clarify that in a minute as well. However, King of Pentacles is someone who is very knowledgeable, probably good status, 
have have been have been in your shoes probably before and maybe good advisor as well this person is very well off and very good social status uh have money have experience as well it could be with anyone but it could be your father figure or your boss or someone you just know uh know or don't know or it could be person from internet that you're really uh, gathering a lot of information and it's really getting you inspired and if it is not the person, it feels like there's a very good omen for you to really succeed in actually getting some sort of cashing and get things going. Now, five swords, I'm going to clarify. Because it feels like either you are trying to do it quick, 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 or achieve certain things by any cost. But I just want to clarify five swords for Sagittarius, please. Ten of swords. This is it. There is some sort of closure you want to have. And we have nine of swords and ten of swords, which is good, which is good to see, you know, there's some sort of good progression happening. So you're closing a book and maybe there was an unfinished business. That's what I said. Oh, yes, indeed. There was unfinished business that you are really want to close it off. Either there's someone maybe wanting to sabotage you or they're suddenly realizing, uh -huh, Sagittarius is getting into money. Sagittarius is making um, him or herself a name for her and are really succeeding. Let's pop in, in into your life. And you're like, you know what? No. I've been there, done that. I didn't get your support before. I'm going on my own. Or I'm going with other new people. I don't need someone that's uh, sitting on my piggyback from me. Someone who is leching on me. If you need, I can help you. But if you need, um, you've got to find your own way. And that's what you're saying to this person there. Right. Okay. Let's clarify with the Ocean Tarot. Middle of the month. Middle of the month. Here we are, Queen of Cups. Right. So Queen of Cups is a really interesting one. Because I think with this situation here that you have with the Five of Swords that's going on, um, you might want to... I know you might want to close the book very quickly and, and fast. It's just... Uh, it could be... It feels like those people could be quite close to you. Okay. And to do that could be quite important to do it diplomatically, especially if you are making your name for yourself. You don't want some sort of bad press or you, I know, I don't know how big you are becoming or how big you might become in the future. OK, but you don't want to have that sort of um, air linger around you, that bad taste in your mouth. So Queen of Cups is someone who knows how to deal with situations and there is more than one way how to sell what you want to say as well right but it's a good counterpart king and queen here which is great to see there's a good it's kind of like yin's and yang's there's a great balance going as well now ready teddy go end of the month wowzers what a, what a roller coaster you got sad really 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 that's interesting it's very interesting six of wands there's a lot of celebration and you know what six of wands when you look at it here this person is coming home they're coming home from whatever they're being. Either maybe you are traveling and homecoming. Maybe you're not traveling home as far as homes to say, but feels like maybe you're settling in somewhere or you're celebrating your rewards. And it's been long coming. Okay. And as I'm always saying, celebrate those every little day successes. If you're putting big, big um, kind of goals ahead, that's fine. That's all great. But break it down in smaller steps as well that you can see your achievements step by step and you can celebrate them because that's just going to give you that extra boost, you know, extra confidence. Yes, I can do it. I have achieved this uh, goalpost. What's next? What's next? What's next? Three of Swords. It seems like that past is really kind of dragging, dragging along, dragging along. Let's clarify that. Do you know what? I, it could be, look, easier said than done. It feels like... Why I'm saying this is because it feels like there could be close people that are either wanting, not wanting you to succeed because they have their own opinion what you should or shouldn't do in your life. And if you ask two people, you probably get three advice, different options. Here we go. Hi, Priestess. Mm. And you take a lot of things to your heart. And don't we all? Don't we all? Right. So High Priestess and, and Three Swords. Three and two. So it's getting weaker and weaker. 
that impact on you is gonna sizzle out. That heartbreak is going to sizzle out. Maybe you are breaking up with a partner or you're breaking away from something and you are wearing out on your own. You have this venture on your own and maybe there's some sort of payments that you're still paying from the previous maybe business or some sort of outstanding things is just dragging on and on and on. But it is going to sizzle out. Indeed. Now, high priestess, unless you are in business of spirituality, okay, if you are in spirituality, this is a really good uh, omen to have because high priestess is regarding as a spiritual uh, teacher, a spiritual kind of mother, right? And it's it's very important. But something is here telling, keep your business to yourself. And I know we are in a culture of sharing. We want to share. It's all great. It is indeed. But pick the right timings, baby. Pick the right timings, Sagittarius, okay? Because you want to be safe. And that's what it comes to my mind is uh, your either location, keep it safe, or your personality or where you live or exactly what you do is just keep that some sort of distance a bit as well. And High Priestess is saying... There's some great adventures coming your way, but it's not time to know it yet. It's not time to know it yet. When it comes to it, you're going to find out. Okay, so go with the flow. <laughs> go with the flow, as the Pisces would say, and Pisces season. Let's clarify for you, my lovelies. Oh, four cups. Okay, boredom. However, this, this card is saying that being grateful for what you got. And maybe... Having that kind of success that you're having throughout this month, getting boost of your confidence and money is coming in and great people around you, you know, and it really gives us confidence. And sometimes we kind of um, not realizing that we like, oh, I want more, I want more, I want more. And realizing what you got right now is important. It's kind of like saying thank you to the universe. Thank you so much. Even though it was your job, it was your hard work, but still kind of saying thank you to those who have uh, supported you because the universe got your back at the very beginning okay and not being greedy not to being um unappreciated or and that's the word um you need to appreciate things that uh and people that have helped you along indeed hence we had the chariot was there as well kind of saying remember those who helped you there say thank you to them it's a gratitude card indeed right Let's have a look, Sagittarius. What else we have for you for this month? <laughs> if this resonates with you, please do not be a stranger. Like and comment and visit my channel as well. Right. A personal issue reaches resolution. Oh, even though it's money reading, but feels, look, we can't separate our money career and, and all the manifestation from ourselves. It's all entwined. It's all mixed in. Personal issue reaches resolution, which is great. So maybe there's some personal issues that were dragging you down, okay? They're dragging you down and you're putting that to bed once and for all. Once and for all. Let's have a look. What else do you have for you, my lovelies? Let's have a look. Choosing your direction. And that's what you've done. That's what you're doing. And I feel at the very end... You might feel that you um you are oh you are owing someone something. You don't. It's your path, and you choose it, and you take responsibilities as you go. Right. Let's have a look. What else we need to know? This card is jumping up roundabouts. Ooh, some choices and possibilities. This is definitely month of possibilities. Everything is available. And why was coming in my mind is. Luck. There's luck is going to be on your side a lot. The universe is getting got your back. Okay. And just please use your luck wisely. Okay. <laughs> Indeed. All right, my lovelies. Thank you so, so much for being here. I'm sending you love and light. Have a blessed month. And Sag, I'll see you guess where in the next reading. Ta-da.